Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to the seven best AI businesses to start with ChatGTP. So it's like the ChatGTP is created by OpenAI and we're just going to explore some business ideas, I suppose, I believe. I'm not sure. Yeah, but before we get started, make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and please consider subscribing because why not? Yeah, let's get started. Everyone has been talking about OpenAI's ChatGPT, and for good reason. Its ability to generate any request in human-like text is remarkable. And for many people, it's their first aha moment for what AI could actually be. And that the implication that this technology has for us in the next decade is exciting, but also frightening. But instead of thinking about what it's going to be like in a decade, I'm gonna be talking about what it's like today and how we can take advantage of the opportunities in front of us right now. So I'm gonna talk about seven different business ideas that anybody can do using. Let's see if it introduces any billion dollar ideas. Um, if it does, I hope one of you guys could be, become the next billionaire. Um, yeah. OpenAI. But the cool thing to me about OpenAI and ChatGPT isn't just the text output itself, it's actually their new API, which is so powerful. So if you don't know what an API is, it's called an application programming interface, which allows developers to basically create applications that can access and make use of the information or data provided by ChatGPT. In other words, anyone can simply implement DALI or ChatGPT into their own software or apps and then just create their own front end user interface. So a good example of this is actually Linza. If you don't know what Linza is, I actually made a video on it a few days ago, so go check it out. But basically, Linza is this app that has gone very viral lately because they found a very specific use case of one of these AI APIs. So, so you guys may have seen it on Instagram. A lot of people are posting like these animated versions of their face and how they were doing that crazy. was through this app called Linza. But the interesting thing about Linza is that Linza was simply using the stable diffusion AI engine, which is essentially free to use for anybody, yet Linza was charging $10 for these anime photos of people. So how it works is people would download the Linza app on the App Store, they would upload 10 photos of themselves to the app, they would pay $10, and then they would receive 100 animated photos of themselves, all in different styles. So why are people paying $10 when they could go do this themselves on Stable Diffusion for free? Well, the answer, my friends, is convenience. So in business, the way you make money is by creating value. Value. And in exchange for that value, people give you money. And a lot of times, value is created simply by streamlining information. So these AI engines are. That's the thing, what he said is great, but also it's like the power of trading, right? When you want something, you have to trade something to get that product and in this case it is money very broad and a lot of people might not have the creativity or understanding to realize that they can make an avatar of their own face so what linza did was created a new product called the magic avatar even though this engine can do literally anything it can make you an ocean oasis in the style of van gogh they chose to go one specific use case which yeah, is the magic the avatar the aka animate the yourself and then on top of that they made I'm it convenient by making that, it in the app store on your phone which is likely where most of your photos already are and so for those two reasons that so having a business is when you're tackling a niche in the market or gap in the market with the niche that you have to solve that problem and with that the client or your target audience will pay a certain fair amount to receive that service or good so that's what here is tack uh, tackling because when you're using dolly you could uh, it's it's vast it's not uh, constrained to one particular thing but they're only targeting creating avatars of yourself rather than uh, having the broad aspect of what Dolly 2 could do why they are able to charge ten dollars even though the actual creation of the images was completely free so this is where the real opportunity lies for us while most people are simply playing with the tech to maybe make their day-to-day -day job a little easier the smart entrepreneurs are finding ways to plug in yeah, open fine. ai's api into their own front-end software platforms so in today's video i'm going to give you seven different business ideas that you can start either using open api's api and even if you don't have the software development skills or understand how to use That's an gonna API, so I'm going to give a few that, business ideas, ideas that anybody can use just by using ChatGPT directly. So the good news is this is brand new. OpenAI just released this API, so the market is wide open and there's a lot of opportunities for what I call value arbitrage. Right now, ChatGPT is broad. 
There's a million different use cases. And our goal is to find a very specific use case, make our own website, own front end using the API, and then market that service to people who could use it, AKA people that's life could be better by chat GPT. They just don't know about it yet. If there is one thing this channel is about, it's about identifying blue ocean opportunities and capitalizing on them before the masses. And that's kind of how I even got to this point with this channel in the first place. I caught onto the NFT trend very early. It was one of the very first people to make YouTube videos on it. And I see a lot of similarities to the NFT trend back then to AI right now. So if this video helps you see the like amazing opportunity right in front of us right now, do not send it to anyone because then our secret's gonna get out. All right, so the first business is wait. a very big- Wait, but well, he just made a YouTube video. This is gonna get viral. What's going on? industry and that is called sales copy so copywriting is basically the words on any website or sales copy if you're trying to sell a product what is the description of your product on amazon any facebook ad where they have like a description that's called copywriting and more specifically i think the best opportunity is sales copywriting because that way if they get sales they make money and if you can help people make money you're going to make money but i have a friend who's actually making over seven figures a month using this website called copy.ai and how he's able to do that is to just make high quality sales copy but much more quickly than most people. So what he is doing is he's using this platform called copy.ai. He gets a client, he just inputs the subject that it's about and the style he wants the copy written in, and it literally outputs him the sales copy. He then just goes through, makes sure there's no errors, makes sure it's accurate, and then he sends it to the client and they had no idea that it was made by AI. And the crazy thing is his clients love the copy that he's providing. Yeah, and so, so now that he's able to right. use this tool, he's able to output like five times the amount of copy that he was able to previously and can now handle much more so clients. He then hired a few of his friends who weren't that strong of copywriters, but then showed them how to use copy.ai. And now he sends them clients. And so he's able to do the work of a hundred copywriters with a team of less mm -hmm. than 12. So a copywriting company is the perfect company to start if you're wanting to utilize chat GPT. And then the company copy.ai is one you could start if you wanted to use chat GPT's API, plug it into your own copy building website and then sell that service yourself. So that's just a very interesting one. And I really do think that these actual API businesses are the big opportunity. But at the same time, like I said, I'm going to give you both. So moving on to the next API based business is going to be perplexity.ai. What they do is they basically describe any subject in about four sentences. So you can say, hey, what is the revolutionary war? And it's going to search all of the top articles in Google, vet every single article for you, and then give you the best four answer summary out there, which well, is really helpful because many of you it might know you that if you Google something, uh, you typically go to multiple articles to pick and choose the right answer for you, where perplexity is going to go through tips. literally hundreds of articles and summarize any topic in four sentences. Like very simple, but very well. useful. The now, moving on to the third, to. which I think is very clever, and a lot of you e-com dropshippers are going to love this. This is called sitekick.ai, where you can literally create any landing page in one minute. So if you're a dropshipper out there, you know the name of the game is testing well, different products, and you're constantly needing to build different landing pages for these products to see if people are interested in the product in the first place. So Sitekick, all you have to do is type in the subject matter, maybe provide a few images. It's going to create a beautiful landing page with great sales copy, great layout. You can build these landing pages so much more quickly. Typically, it would take a few hours or even a day for someone to make a landing page to test a product. Now you can do it in a minute. And if you can save people that time, you can create that value. You make a specific use case with this AI, you're going to make a lot of money. So moving on to the next business using ChatGPT. If if you wanted to use chat GPT, you could create an SEO agency. If you don't know what SEO is, that's a search, search engine, engine optimization, optimization, meaning where you rank on Google for a specific keyword. So if I type in Brett Malinowski so on Google, on. hopefully my name shows up first because I have the best content and that's what Google has decided is the one they want to show you. But there are a lot of other people with my name making different types of content. And so how you stand out in the SEO, how Google chooses that is one, how much depth you have about one specific topic or one search term. And so if you've talked about one search term a lot, they'll view you as an expert and rank you much higher. The other way is backlinks, meaning how many times have other people linked to you as the expert when they're describing a certain situation or certain
the topic. And so I'm gonna focus on that first example, which is the depth. And so if you use ChatGPT, you can generate like 50 well-written blog posts or articles around one specific topic. You could then take those articles, upload it to your website, index them. And now from Google's perspective, you have 50 articles about one topic and you did that in one single day. So again, this is gonna make you more efficient at your job and yeah, be able nice. to sell that service to other companies simply by using AI because you have the knowledge that they don't and you know these tools exist, which is value arbitrage. All right, so then- mm, So like AI will help you save so much time and increase productivity because of that. So let's say if you're in a day with these services, in a day if you're doing like two sales with the application of the AI, for example, the copy AI, you could triple that or like quadruple the productivity per day and just make money, more money from that, right? Which is crazy. Next business I want to talk about today is going to be actually AI thumbnail creator service. Mm. So this is going to be less common and I don't see many people talking about this, but I actually did this for a thumbnail on one of my videos a few days ago where I talked about what the metaverse actually is. So I actually was just trying to make a thumbnail to show two versions, a bad metaverse and the actual metaverse in the future. And I actually used AI, I used Linza to make a photo of my face that was a metaverse version of my face. And so what this means is that if you're a thumbnail creator, you can simply use DALI or Stable Diffusion and start the getting specific so layers that are really high quality. And so instead of needing AI a 3D artist to make you a 3D like. spaceship hovering Earth so you can make a space video on YouTube, you can just type that into Stable Diffusion and you get a very high quality image output of that search term. So you don't need to find the artist with these years and years of skills. You could just use Stable okay, Diffusion yeah. to it output those crazy. images or even specific layers. So maybe you have Photoshop skills and so you get a 3D spaceship, you get the earth, you get the space backdrop, and you get a picture of my face animated, and you can just layer those together. So instead of needing all those skills, you just generate it through AI, and then you can make YouTube thumbnails of a very high caliber that you couldn't previously, and you can sell that to all the different YouTubers as a service. So that is a really cool opportunity. That is something that DALI by OpenAI would enable as well. All right, moving on to That's the sixth business is going to be a lead generation business. So a lot of businesses are always looking for leads for new people people to sell their services to. And a lot of people out there pay big money for email lists or just people that they think are interested in their service. And so I actually searched in ChatGPT to send me the 20 emails of the top Web3 agencies executives. And lo and behold, it literally gave me a and list yeah, we'll of 20 emails of the top Web3 agency like, executives. So I have no idea how I found these searching. emails, but the emails looked accurate and it's really exciting. Now, this might be something that is not completely accurate today, or you might be getting spam emails, but it's really interesting to see that I was able to source that many emails so quickly of very powerful people. And that is a big business in and of itself. I know a lot of people that run agencies where they buy email lists and then sell those emails to companies for $50, $100 per lead because they think those people are interested in a specific service. So that is something that ChatGPT will enable and a business you could start very, very quickly. The last business that you could start using AI or ChatGPT would actually be a newsletter. So very similar to copywriting, like but you can create a we'll weekly to... newsletter or daily Daily newsletter at this point since there's so many around specific topics and then if you can grow your subscriber base to this newsletter you could input sponsors you can input ads because you're making high quality content thanks to the power of ai this is very straightforward whether you want to sign up with companies to make newsletters for them or you want to build your own newsletters and sell advertising spots ai is going to write very high quality content around that the only problem with chat gpt right now is it's sourced to 2021 anything after 2021 it is not in its training so you won't be able to write like upcoming news, but it would be nice for educational newsletters where you're teaching people or even like an email automation writing campaign. Exactly. So that's gonna do, do that. it for it the seven different crazy. businesses okay, you could start by using ChatGPT and OpenAI's API. I highly recommend thinking about creating an API based business because again, ChatGPT can do point. a million different things. And if you could pick out one specific niche really idea, niche. make a website yeah. around that targeting specific people that are interested mm. in that niche idea, and then you can pull the API of ChatGPT. And basically if they search something in their specific niche, they'll be popped up perfectly right there and they'll pay your business for that service. So that's yeah. something that I think is really cool. I think it's really clever. And that's what I call value arbitrage. Not many people have figured this out. If you could be one of the first people to implement this 
tech to solve a specific problem for somebody else, they're going to pay you a lot of money for it. So guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, just hit the like button. And if you see the opportunity here, guys, and you're excited about it, just hit subscribe. I have a few more videos coming out on the topic. And this is just really exciting. I love thinking about how our world is going to be in two, three, four, five years. And hopefully I unlocked that excitement in your brain. But other than that, guys, hope you had a wonderful day. I will see you in the next one. Yeah, so that was correct. So like those ideas are good. But the main point to consider from that video is like the uh, was API based uh, like software or something. So using the API itself, the APIs that already exist for more open AI and just plugging that into your website or your business and making that work for you rather than do that. And it will just help. It will just make your company expand, grow exponentially. Okay, we just increase productivity, right? So yeah, that's it for now. Hope you. Uh, like the video and yeah, see you next time. Bye